Welcome to Midwestern Outdoors. Today we're reviewing the Big Dog Tomcat Hang On Tree Stand. This stand is all steel construction and so it has four bars and then steel mesh for the platform. A steel H piece as they call this and then a steel frame for the seat. Now the seat was not the most comfortable I noticed. That's so what I did is I took a piece of Luon which is just very thin board and I put it on there with some silicone and then went around it with black duct tape to make it look a little bit nicer. And so for the straps, this tree stand has a, about a two inch strap for the top strap, which is the main strap. And it's fairly secure. I mean, it's not gonna break or anything. But the one problem I have with the strap is the attachment. It's this kind of buckle instead of a ratchet or something like. So if you have your ladder on the opposite side of the tree, like I did this the other day, it was really hard to find this and loosen it because this is a lot harder than a ratchet strap to use. Then for a stabilization strap, they have this thin one inch strap, which then is hooked on through the front here and that has a cam buckle, which is nice and easy to use. And then the buckle can be anywhere on the tree stand. So it can be on this side, that side, front, back, anywhere you really want it to be for adjustment purposes. So as for noise on this tree stand, it's usually fairly quiet given that it has these nylon washers at all metal to metal connections. But it does, when it gets sub-zero temperatures like it does here in the Midwest, it can get pretty squeaky on the seat. And so then looking at the seat, you can tell here, right here, it's rusted. And so all the nuts are completely rusted on, the bolts are rusted, and even the tubes. All the tubes are all rusted. And so that would be why I'm buying a new tree stand too, is because these tubes are rusted. And I've covered them up, as you can see, but it's still still rust through all that. And so if you are going to buy this tree stand, get some Rust-Oleum because you're going to want to put a coat of that on or at least put some end caps on here before you send it out to the woods for too long. So now you can see I'm sitting on the stand and I'm a fairly tall guy. I mean, I'm five foot nine. And so when I sit down on this, it's pretty tight. It's a small platform. The platform is 20 by 24 inches. And so if you're, if you're a big guy, you're not going to like this platform too much because it's small and you're going to be sitting like this. It'll give you leg sores because I've only been able to stay in the stand for about two hours due to this. I have to get up and stretch my legs constantly. But moving on from that, you are able to easily get up though because you can stand up, flip the seat back. So if you're doing bow hunting from the stand, it's very easy that so you can draw back and you can have plenty of room so that you can do a full turnaround and shoot at whatever angle. And then for gun hunting, the stand would probably be just fine too, because there's plenty of room for you to hold your rifle or shotgun. So as for safety, this tree stand does come with a harness. I would highly recommend buying a better harness and a bigger harness, but this will do you for the first little while. It has two shoulder straps, a chest strap here, a, safe, or a suspension release strap, and then two leg straps. The only adjustments you can make on this strap, or this, the only adjustments you can make on this um, harness is the legs. You can make them um, longer or shorter. But other than that, it's really not adjustable. So if you're a bigger guy or a smaller guy, this isn't going to work great for you unless you're kind of right in the middle average. It does have the tear away tether on it. And so if you were to fall, this would just rip, make it gentler. And then for attachment, you just, it comes with a strap and then you slide this through the strap or have a carabiner on it and carabiner it to the strap. All right, final, my final thoughts on this stand. If you really just need a stand to get yourself in the woods and get started, yes, I would recommend the stand. I would keep it not in the tree for more than two weeks at a time, but it's a good little stand for like some younger kid people and just getting started. And so if you're if you're more serious hunter and you want a good stand that you can have out in the woods a lot and not have to do much maintenance on it, I would not recommend the stand. And so yeah, this concludes our review of the big dog Tomcat hang on tree stand. This is Midwestern Outdoors signing out.